Good day everyone, thanks for coming to the channel. Today, I would like to showcase yet another Frenzy Barbarian. But this one is different and a little bit unique. So let me go ahead and show you my gears and talents and the whole setback. So first, my weapon is Death Colossus Sword. Um, this is not the perfect enhanced damage. It's actually on the low side. But the main thing that I'm taking away from this is the mana stolen and the deadly strike and the crushing blow especially the crushing blow and the main point of this build is to have 100% crushing blow and 100% deadly strike and on my offhand weapon which is actually my main if you see from my graphics this is a grief in phase blade in a perfect base with a 40 increase attack speed and 396 damage which is you know really good right on the high side and you know if you see here like oh uh, yeah on my other video uh about i think it's like second frenzy barbarian uh one of my subscribers uh balik i think he's like russian um, <laughs> sorry if i got you wrong but he commented to me and he you know made it clear to me that if your strength is below 179 then you don't have the speed buff because of how you know the the game will acknowledge the gears because like you know before the hell room that's in the death like 179 would be the strength that you will calculate and if it calculates that you have less than that and then it's going to equip the phase blade first and then after that the hell calculation comes into effect and then it will equip the death which is what's allowing me to do this so i don't have to like speed buff you know that was really you know a good thing and so you know I'm de definitely taking full advantage of that. And then for my helm, G face, uh, fifteen all reds and just lightning damage jewel. Nothing special. I mean, I just need fifteen all reds. Nine strength. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it would be worth it. Just my personal thought. So I just kind of you know just stay with this. And then high lord, uh, all skill, big helper, attack speed. I need it. Deadly Strike, I need it. Lightning Res, I'm still not maxed. So, yeah, High Lord, definitely a good enemy for this case. Gore, I mean, nothing else. Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, it's really nice piece of group for melee. And just Enigma, you know, Dusk. You know, choose your armor graphics as you like, but just make sure you pay attention to the, the strength requirement. I think that's a big thing. And then a Raven here another raven here now i usually like to get the graphics same but i had these two and you know my mana leech and life leech is kind of handled with my belt with the life leech and mana leech from here now i mean maybe i could try to get some more but i figure you know what i'll stay on the lower side of the leeching but i'll have more vitality so and then you know laying on the hands you know definitely a good one and then max attack lifers as best we can. I think you can go with the B combs too if you want, like B, you know, barbarian combat. Yeah, barbarian combat skills which you increase your frenzy. So just whatever pulls your boat. And I have max attack life for smell charm here. And then my Annie and a torch. And on the offhand, always my double holder for barbarian. I think there's just nothing else for it. And then for my stats, mm, I put nothing into strength because thanks to my belt, I was already over 77 strength. So, you know, I just kept it at that. And then rest, I mean not rest, but 136 into dex. And then the rest into vid. Mm, I guess, you know, I was thinking like, okay, so 179 strength, that would be like what, you know, 10 something like 15 16 more to put into strength I mean, how much more of a like benefit like damage wise and what i get off of that so i was like oh, screw it just dump it onto that which is why i'm like okay you know what i have a lower leech but you know i'll live with that because i have a you know higher you know life pool and then for the talents um for this uh it's slightly different than cookie cutter i guess because i just didn't get berserk i just you know wanted to kind of focus my points into bow more so anyways um frenzy here max sure synergy here and then one one 
And I also, you know, didn't put two points in here because I was kind of stretching to pull more points. And then match your weapon synergy. Oh, that's synergy with your weapon, right? And then that's your synergy for your frenzy. And then one point all the way down and then rest in the bow. So, yeah, like, it, it, this is not the usual way I do. I usually definitely get up to Berserk. But that'll be three points. And these berserk, those are five points that I'm kind of like reallocating onto here. So, so it's up to you. Find your style, you know. And have a lot of tokens to play with, that's for sure. <laughs> and for mercenary, you know, just Reaper's Toll Mercenary, nothing better, nothing good. You know, with the usual setup, with the increased attack speed jewel and, and damage and attack speed jewel. And treachery. And G face with damage and attack speed jewel. So with this, I'll be at 4.5 range per attack on my mercenary, with the 4 being the best. So yeah, I think that's my whole shebang. So let me go ahead and show you the cow, Diablo. Oh, but you know what? Before that, let's go ahead and do some more calculation. So 50 crushing blow, 35 crushing blow, 15. So my quick math tells me that's 100. Okay, so 15 deadly strike, and then 32, so let's just say 33. <coughs> so 48, right? And then right here, 43. So that's like 91. But as I level, these stats are going to go up because Deadly Strike is based on the character level. So later when I get to like 90, 92, 3, <clears throat> it's going to be like on the 100 side. So one thing like Deadly Strike and uh, Crush and Blow do not proc at once together. But nevertheless, you know, like one of them are going to be procking every single time. Ooh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the speed calculator real quick as well. So, Barbarian, Phaseblade. Where are you? I know my alphabets. Do I know my alphabets? Okay, and then Colossosaur. So, English is my third language, so sometimes I get confused. And then 40, Frenzy. Now, this, so I have 20 from High Lord, 20 from Gloves, 10 from the Belt. So that's 50. And yeah, 5 frames per second. Now, if I lower that, so I'm losing it. So 50 is pretty much minimal. And with this setup, even without any frenzy level, you'd be at 5 frames. And that was like my biggest attraction. And if you look at the show, show IAS, it's, that's a big thing. So you need 89 total, including your weapon. That's why when it comes to your grief, then the minimum speed you need now becomes 39 because 50 you're getting off of uh, items, gears, and then boom, you need 39 minimal on the weapon. So that's the whole shebang on that calculation. So let's go, let's get started. Ooh, 5k, you know, that's a lot of life for me. And I think when, every time I look at a Frenzy Barbarian, but again, you know, with the fact that I have lesser leech. I figure, you know, this should kind of like counterbalance that and you know, make itself work out. And I'm kind of totally relying on the, you know, the Reaper's Toe Prop in order to deal with all the physical immunes. And oh, yeah, this was physical immune actually. <laughs> yeah, it was the proc that helped it. So it doesn't remove it all the time, but nevertheless, you know, it's something where like, you know, it's, oh, I heard a jewel. You know, I... My bot <laughs> caught me on my first ever 40-15 jewel, 40 enhanced damage and 15 attack speed. Like, it has caught me other stuff before, like 30 plus, but never a perfect 40. I have never seen a perfect 40, ever. And I guess, yeah, it's not just duped, I guess they do drop, just freaking rare as hell, you know, that's always the problem. But yeah, I was like so crazy, I was like so surprised, like after so many years of having played and having bought it, I've never seen that drop once. 40, 15, green. Like, wow, that does drop. So, maybe I just don't run enough bots, you know? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So, I think run speed too, you know, though I don't have the talent, and I guess, you know, it could become a little bit annoying when you're in town. But besides that, you know, when you're like in the game, I mean, I have teleport, so that helps, you know, a lot with my mobility. And 
you know, now that I also don't have to worry about the speed buggy, it's like, you know, and also, you know, the Reaper's top prop, you know, does physically slow them as well, which indirectly but additively helps my tune. Since I'm like melee, I'm like right up into the ass, right? So, <clears throat> like, if my mercenary Reaper's toe is proccing at one out of three chance they will hit, then I mean, it's, it's helping me a lot. Like, when, you know, when they're proc, then those enemies, you know, they swing less too, right? You know, they swing slower, they move slower, gives me a chance to, you know, just literally just kill them. So, you know, I think a lot of those small additive kind of like things kind of also help to kind of make this tune very enjoyable to play. And those are small details and like for example Berserk, right? Not having Berserk. Is that going to kill you? Not necessarily. But that annoy you? At least it might possibly annoy me if I come to a physical immune that I cannot kill because Reaper's Toll doesn't do it. But nevertheless, you know, overall I guess like it's helping with the bow. And I have a reason why I want the higher life pool due to you know my low uh, life leech. So you know, kind of give it back, you know, like you know, all kind of makes sense to each other, kind of complement each other, and then kind of makes me as this this tune is right now. Ooh, I need to repair my chest. But I need a rail room for that, and I don't have a rail room on my tune right now. <laughs> So I'll do that later. Hopefully my armor will last long enough. And I have yeah might, so my damage has gone up. And if I could have put more into strength, my damage would be better. You know what I think? But I don't know, like what do you guys think? Like this on the sheet damage it says damage has gone up. But I have tried both and I've never really felt the difference. <coughs> I think especially with this build, it's kind of more reliant on crushing blow, right? And crushing blow is like percentage of mobs' health that will go down every every hit that it procs. So, then does just damage really matter? But I have seen it where like if my damage was low but I still had a high crushing blow, like did it help? Did it like you know? And the answer was yes. Actually, like, so I saw the life percentage being taken away, but it was slower. I saw, like, a big chunk would go down, but then, like, you know, it's clear it's slower. Whereas if my damage was higher, and I still had a, you know, like, a really high amount of crushing blow, then, yeah, like, you know, everything just really went down fast. So this one, I don't know what you guys think about the speed and all, but... And, you know, it's, it's, it's a Javas on. I mean, if you're compared to Javas on, this would be a joke speed. But still, for you know, Friends of Barbarian, it gives me the the visual pleasure, the nostalgic pleasure, and you know the yeah. I like melee. I like melee character more in Diablo too. I like to be in the middle of things and just you know, kind of like chop it down enemy. So I think it really helps out and works out in that sense, both ways. Using the visual pleasure. Well, one visual displeasure with this build, which I have mentioned on my other friends' video, was that, like, so my Grief Colossus Blade with Death Colossus Sword. Now, that one visually it makes sense. Colossus Blade and Colossus Sword are actually different graphics, but they're very similar, and at least there's like some, you know, congruency. There's, you know, consistency, you know, but like when you see a phase blade in a colossal sword, clearly, you know, there's you know, lack of consistency. It's inconsistent. So I do kind of care about that, and I guess that would be the only thing that I would like kind of take away from this if I were to. But uh, oh, you know, let me be right back. Sorry, I'm back. So let me go ahead and teleport to. Okay, so yeah, it's I think it's pretty enjoyable and powerful too, like, you know, having the teleport ability with the mercenary control, which is another small, I did it a kind of part of the playstyle, but, 
you know, like I was saying earlier, right? As long as you, like, well, just like that, boom. I mean, things die pretty fast, I think. It's like one or two hits, things die. So, and when I ever had run this in an eight man, like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like a huge problem or anything. I mean, I guess because I have a huge, you know, life pool as well. Although my res is not maxed out, but you know, like, yeah, I'm, I was like definitely, you know, ripping through those mobs like nothing on the eight man. Oh yeah, I hate it when I get the debuff. <laughs> the worst debuff, right? For melee. Yeah, so one, you know, only thing like I was saying is the graphics with the sword. And again, that's why you know I wish uh, Resurrected would have some sort of transmog. But uh, oh, you need the physical. Can my mercenary take it off? Oh, he was able to take it off. See, like. Again, like you know, I mentioned this in other videos, like those are some of those situations I personally just don't like. Or like, you know, I mean let's say like, you know, the Reaper's toe didn't take it off. And as you guys know, that's uh, actually a boss mob that has to die in order for Diablo to be summoned. I mean, can you believe it? Like, you can't kill Diablo in Chaos because you can't kill that mob because he's immune to physical? I mean, that would be kind of a pretty shameful thing to say. So that's why for me, like, I always think, like, oh, you know, I gotta be able to handle any situation given to me. That's always, like, my main focus. Anyways, moving on. Ooh. Yeah, this kind of, like, you know, these only side paths, no problem. Just, you know, stay with the mercenary, follow his Reaper's Toe Cross, and things die pretty well. You know, and I have the laying of the hands, which gives me extra damage versus demons. You know, um, I, I know that Resurrected will have those tooltip stuff, but it just kind of hit me, you know. Are they going to have all these organized as well? I mean, it's one question I had posed in my other video too is free. Are they going to like, you know, show all the numbers on that new tooltip screen or something? It kind of like, you know, tells people how to, oh my god. Oh, my armor broke, oh my god. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. <laughs> My armor didn't last. And also, if you think about it, Dusk is, you know, Dusk doesn't have that high of a, you know, durability. So it's kind of understandable too. But, ooh, man. But Dusk is, uh, you know, high defense armor. And for the low strength, relatively low, 77. You know, that's why it's one of the most, you know, kind of wanted armor types. Okay. okay. Kind of, that one felt weird. Yeah, I felt like there was a slight lag on the first turn. Oh, you know what? Can I just do that? Huh. Yeah, like, so I don't have to do that skip button like that. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, based on what he told me, I don't have to do the speed bugging, which means I don't have to put my face blade on the right hand side. Yeah, looks good. Alright. So let's pay a little visit to these guys. Okay. So do you guys see that? Hmm. Maybe there's some issue going on here. And see those first initial swing? Is it me or are they slow? Oh. Yeah, putting that armor back on like that, maybe like cost something. I don't know, it looks weird. I guess I played this long enough to know when something is a little bit slower. I can test something here real quick, guys. Is that, is that a 5 frame speed? I don't think so. Okay, so. Yeah, that's a 5 frame. Oh, what's going on, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well. Let me try to figure something out here. I'll be right. Sorry, guys. I'm back. So, apparently, like, 
my speed was kind of bugged out because of my armor and so I just left and I came back and it looks okay now so let me go ahead and continue Ooh, this, this looks good. So let me go ahead and put that here too, so I know they'll pay my attack side. And I don't want to take too long killing everything, but if I see a good healthy pack or yeah, like that, <laughs> I gotta you know whack at it. Oh, so I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I'm back. So let's go ahead and continue our journey to Bale. Where is this guy? Like in Korean, like Bale is kind of funny. Because it's pronounced as Pal. Like, kind of like, yeah, A, ah, not E. Eh. So, like, you know, Bale in English versus Pal in Korean. And Pal is also foot. <laughs> so, I'm sure you know, there are like some Korean jokes with Bale names and whatnot. But I don't know. Because I never, I'm not immersed in the Diablo 2 Korean community. So yeah, it's kind of weird. The name. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, gotta go one more down. You know, this is actually a TC85, right? So, you know, some of the best items could drop here. And if you're on ladder, I mean, you know. Yeah. So just sometimes like I do hunt around here just just cuz yeah like I mean when I'm like just not like you know like recording like yeah when I see a pack like that I mean would you kind of want to go test yourself you, you know those oh wow well, they are not friendly I know but still you know ah. but for now for the sake of recording I don't want to take eternity so yeah, but if I get a chance to see the pack like that again, yeah. Oh wow, look at this here. Wow, this one's interesting. Ooh, oh. Eventually, I better go because it's all physical to use. Even if I have Berserk, that pack would be kind of really difficult to deal with. Because Berserk in the end is a single target. And it's not like frenzy, right? Frenzy is like at least like you're hitting like multiple times. And this is wow, I'm gonna have to pop. Yeah. Black Soul and all those suiciders running at me? Yeah. <laughs> that was a scary sight. I gotta be careful. <clears throat> I'm sure there's more inside. Oh yeah, see? There's Ooh, wow. So I guess this is when like my you know increased life kinda comes in handy. This is exactly the point. Okay, well that was it. And I'm like, kind of, you know, low on life, but whatever, so I won't die. Let's build it back up. Okay. So with the, uh, you know, oh wow. Now with this style, one thing, well, 89% isn't that low thankfully but see with G face you know I'm kinda of missing out on attack range. Ooh, Conqueror's Crown? Ooh I might want to look at that. You know you never know right it could be some weird crazy five bow like you know something. <laughs> when Conqueror's Crown kinda of looks cool too. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see. Ooh, nothing. Yeah. This? Ooh, nothing, as always. But I always search for that one day I get a two socket with the JMOS stats, like five Poison Nova or six Poison Nova blue with uh, lower resist. That would just, that's exactly what I'm looking for for my Poison Nova Necro. Yeah, lower resist. A two socket, five or six all with JMOS stats. And that's too much to ask for though. I mean, I would drop the JMOS stats if I, you know, if I, if I had to. But I would need, you know, at least five or six poison necro, and poison nova, 
can two socket and low resist. Seriously, that's all. I mean, if I could have one more, oh, that's pushing it for you. Yeah, maybe revive. Then, ooh, wow, you know, I think yeah, that kind of itemization will make it really interesting on what I can do with the poison nova as well. Anyway, let's go to bell. So his percentage, okay, let's see. Yeah, 76%. Eh, it's natural, right? And with all these, you know, melee classes. But with my high crushing blow, as you see, so it's really going down pretty well. Yeah, and the uh, Reaper's toe prop, so he's slow down. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, you know, the crushing blow was doing its thing, it was like chopping down his health. And overall, you know, it's another frenzy, but definitely a frenzy team that I like. So I'm sure, well, I hope you guys have a frenzy or two. I mean, it's, it may be an overlooked build, but it's one of the best, I think. I, I, I enjoy it more than Warwick. So, this is my you know, style and interpretation. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you very much, and have a good one.